Mr. Beast called in his fixer again. That's me. I'm Mr. Beast's fixer. Hey, guys. We got more Mr. Beast drama. What happens when you cross the king of YouTube, Mr. Beast? Well, you have to face his fixers. That is commentary channels on YouTube. We are firmly and consistently cupping the balls and drunking the shit. All the time. I don't know if I can say that this early in the video. I know YouTube doesn't like that very much. I'm a huge YouTube simp, by the way. Just like I'm a Mr. Beast simp. And there's been news recently. You guys probably saw if you spend any time on Twitter, if you're an idiot and you're brain dead and you're just always online and you're watching my videos and you're like, well, I know I'm an idiot and I know I'm brain dead, but I, you know, I want to give this uh, fucking random guy in Texas some of my money. Well, then welcome. By the way, I thought that this drama, this news was a massive fat fucking nothing burger and was kind of upset by how dumb it was in the first day. But now things have gotten more interesting, and I decided that it was worth it to cover on my channel. So I'm probably not going to be adding new, but I am going to try to be as uh, unbiased and you know fair as possible because there are some things in here that are interesting, and I love discussing Mr. Beast because it is a phenomenon that has never existed in the world, and it is incredibly pertinent to my life because I'm a YouTuber. I am on the internet. You know, it's pertinent to my life, to what, what I do, my career, the things that I say, the things that I think, the things that I do. <laughs> you know. So I'm gonna cover it, dude. It's huge Mr. Beast drama part two. Okay, Mr. Beast is back in the news for being a terrible, horrible person. All right, and I want you to guess what exactly do you think he did? Did he bully a child? No. Did he kick a small woodland creature, something defenseless, maybe a squirrel? He kicked something worth no bigger than a squirrel. Did he blind a thousand people to cure them in a future video? No, something that happened three years ago has come back to haunt him and it's been everywhere. So we'll get to the start of the drama, by the way, guys. We gotta start, I always gotta start back in the very Bicky back. And check this out too, by the way, this is a Beretta Bobcat. And uh, my passion is actually uh, these, little, these little guys here. I really enjoy this type of stuff. And this, honestly, YouTube is my side hustle, so. It's pretty cool though. Look at that little guy, a little fixer pistol. I use on my enemies. Just kidding, I don't. It's not real, it's an airsoft gun, it's a toy, I don't own any real weapons. It starts with Rosanna, Ros Rosanna? Rosanna Pancino, a popular YouTuber with 15 million subscribers, known primarily for her baking content and her series called Nerdy Nummies. Now what the fuck is that? Well, we're gonna look, because I haven't even really seen this. I didn't look at it too much. Right, now we're gonna just stick them in right down the middle. Okay. Now that we have our beautiful sister. Okay, so she just makes very family-friendly con- I mean, just judging by this five seconds, she makes family-friendly content. She appears to be a, a role model type character for, you know, people who would also tend to watch Sniper Wolf. You know, nothing wrong with her. She's a pretty cool, seems like a pretty cool person, right? But she took to Twitter to expose her disturbing and harrowing experience with everyone's favorite philanthropist and do-gooder, Mr. Beast. Oh yeah, we should mention that we're Call of Duty players and trained professionals. Um, don't do this at home, unless you play lots of Call of Duty. And everyone's hated, most hated. A lot of people fucking hate Mr. Beast. Here's a sample tweet to kind of give you a taste of what exactly is going on here. I've been allowing others to treat me poorly in private for many years, and I'm fed up. I'm gonna start standing up for myself and finding my voice. Good. That sounds awesome. We're off to a good start, right? This is awesome. People should always stand up for themselves no matter what, especially uh, you shouldn't take into consideration any sort of backlash because, you know, if Mr. Beast does something bad just because he has a large audience doesn't mean you shouldn't and speak up, right? <sighs> it's, kind of, it's kind of a tease. To understand what's going on, we need to go back three years on Mr. Beast's channel. Follow me into the wormhole. <laughs> I haven't watched a Mr. Beast video in like maybe five years. He chilled out. He chilled. Me and him, we chill. By the way, guys, if you like sour candy, I have a sour candy company. It's called Sour Boys. Here it is. This is my flavor. This is a bag that I've been destroying over the last day or two. It's pretty cool. It's limited edition. There's only going to be so many of these made. It's the flavors of orange, strawberry, and pineapple. We make it ourselves. We don't import it or have anyone else make it. We literally make it. So it's also affordable for what it is. It takes a lot of time to make candy. It's very difficult. Go to sour.gg and buy some today. It's limited edition. We also have like five other flavors, I think, right now. And we'll have some cool ones coming soon. So sign up to the email list. 
Mr. Beast Creator Games. This is the largest stadium in the world and inside are the 10 biggest creators on YouTube. This is $1 million and whichever one of them I find last keeps it. He's done quite a few of them. It's an event, bunch of creators come in, they compete to win money for a charity of their choosing. The first Creator Games was in April of 2020. It was won by a fella named Nade Shot. YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nade Shot today. He won $250,000 for his charity of choice. I keep all this memorabilia. My girlfriend has it all in a nice corner of my uh, I'm too, too, so closet. Too. By the way, I don't know, like this dude does a lot of good. Mr. Beast, like, he, this is crazy how much money he's just fucking given to charity. I try to be charitable, but it's hard, you know? Cause I like that money. I could use it and lose it in a scam. Not really. I'm just kidding. I love charity. It's cool. Especially doing stuff for the local local kids. Anyways, creator games. One million dollars for your fans. Good luck. So this is not like a new or super old thing. This is something that happened multiple times, and this drama specifically centers around the third episode of the creator games. I'm gonna count to a hundred. Go high. <laughs> One. See you later, everybody. Three. <sighs> okay, this is for a million dollars. Sick. Hey, Mark, good luck. Take care. It's a giant hide-and-seek tournament. Glorified hide-and-seek drama here, fellas. It was a million-dollar tournament. The money goes to a charity of the choice of the winner. These are adults playing children's games for charity. I'm going to go that way. You go that way. Okay. Man, the perfect hiding place. They give us no time to hide. That's awesome. How the f could there ever be any drama surrounding something that, uh, you know, would result in such a great cause? Just money going to charity. You're just playing silly kids games. Okay, cool. Nothing ever bad could come out of this. Right? Wrong! You idiot! You thought this was gonna be... You're fucking stupid! You're stupid! <laughs> Rosanna got fifth place in the third episode of the Creator Games. At least, that's the way that it appears on Mr. Beast's channel. This video. Wait, who's that? Wait, wait, wait. But she claims this was not the case, and she actually got third. Why the f do we care? By God, I'm not sure. But we're gonna learn that. Okay, I'm trying to being as I'm trying to being as good and sympathetic as possible. I'm trying to be a good guy, and I'm trying to learn, and I'm trying to understand people. And I'm trying to get out of this. I'm trying to get out of this hole that I am always in, and I'm trying to be a good guy. Buy candy. <laughs> Yeah, you want to Mr. Beast lied and edited me out of the top three in Creator Game 3. I had participated in Creator Games 1 and 2 and was very excited to be YouTube to go. Okay, so basically, she was very upset that she was edited out of Creator Games 3. Or edited out of the top three. The claim is that the final top three people were this fella named Zach King. Jimmy, there are cars in the building. There may be somebody hiding in there. This feller named Quackity, who is a very funny content creator. I think he does Minecraft and shit now. I'm not really sure. I saw you walking through the windows right there. You just robbed me of a million dollars. Come on, don't say that, Quack. Look at that million dollars. Yeah, you can wave goodbye to it. And her, Rosanna. And then in a roundabout way, Logan Paul and this fella named Loray are edited in to make it look like they won instead of Quackity and Rosanna. Why? I don't have any idea and quite frankly the mechanics of how the positions were made and the mannequins and stuff i don't really care about that the claim is that jimothy beast edited out the only female and a mexican fellow out of the top three in the creator games which dude i feel like i don't really i mean i need to know more because at this point i'm like it's for charity who cares if i was in the video i would not give a singular f genuinely people were saying like you gotta understand you gotta understand how it feels to, to get edited out of something you won and you worked hard and stuff but man i really just don't i don't really i'm trying to understand <laughs> rosanna claims she was proud of placing third she claims that while she was hiding logan paul had been found because of the little earpieces that everyone had in the video and she was surprised because he's a fierce competitor and also a massive piece of shit who scammed his entire audience and is just a dick in the video that was posted originally you can see that logan paul was third then Zach King, and then this fellow Loray was the winner. Oh, uh, there he is. Turns out the freezer was too much for Logan, and we heard him get out. And we literally found him one minute before Zach. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! I knew it! I had your number the whole time! Woo! He was in the ceiling! Until it was found that he had been out of bounds, so he was DQ'd. Loray actually fell asleep while hiding. Mm. 
We searched the entire first floor and kept calling him. We genuinely thought he was a hiding master, but it turns out he was napping on the second floor the entire time. So, you know, if you're not first, you're last. That's kind of, you know, fucking Talladega Nights type shit. Well, Dak, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence, and nobody can hang with my stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just a, just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. I get it, dude. I get it. If you're not first, who the f cares? Third, that sucks. You don't win any money. Go home. Probably sad, to be honest. This all came out, and to me, it just seemed benign and pointless. I didn't even want to make a video of it. But shit has kind of gotten weird over the last couple days as this has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And it has ended with a very unexpected turn of events, which I will uh, get to eventually. <laughs> I'll get there. It won't take long. The main point that Rosanna has made here is that she's frustrated by the misrepresentation of her accomplishments in Mr. Beast video. And it makes her look worse. She's claiming sexism, saying that he edited her out because she's a woman. I don't know if that's like true. It is a video with nearly 100 million views, so it's like a big giant thing. And uh, you know, having your accomplishment substituted with a lie is definitely kind of upsetting, especially when it's substituted by like a, a more relevant creator or someone that's a huge douchebag like Logan Paul, even if it's just fucking hide and seek, right? I get it. I get it. I get where she's coming from. All this shit came out. There was tweets. It went wildly viral. I said it's glorified hide and seek drama. A couple people got, you know, they weren't really mad, I guess, but they were just like, dude, what are you like? obviously she's upset and i was like yeah but i don't really like understand though i don't i just don't get it someone explain it to me there's a couple good takes out there the, the best th i'll try to reiterate in my video though big hoss jimothy beast reached out to her after all this conflagrated into this massive thing on fucking twitter he said what's your phone number i'd love to call and see if we can figure out what happened and then she left him with this hey jimmy my intention of speaking up is not to be malicious or create drama by the way, created massive drama. I was really hurt by the editing decisions you made. Editing me out of the top three and making me look like I performed worse than I did felt awful. Quackity was also edited out of the top three and he also talked about it. I have stayed silent for so long, it's causing me mental stress and anguish. It's not mentally healthy for me to have someone make me look worse than I am to millions of people. I would never do that to a fellow creator. Mr. Beast said, Obviously, I wasn't trying to make you look bad. Just give me a time we can chat. I'm not mad or anything. Just want to help. Then she says, Why did you lie? Why did you say in the first video that you found Logan literally one minute before Zach? I outlasted Logan and was proud of what I accomplished. It actually built some confidence in myself that wasn't there before. He says, IDK, been a while. Let's call and figure it out. Then she said, I'll give you some time to look into it and remember, and then we can discuss. I'm more than happy to review all the raw footage to help show the timeline of events. Feel free to send it over to my team. Let me know. Okay, so this is when it's like, all right, well, Mr. Beast obviously is just going to talk. He's going to call her. He's probably a very charismatic guy. He's going to he's gonna diffuse the situation. That's what he's going to do. He's going to be able to say whatever he wants. He's a man with a lot of power, a lot of influence. Not saying he would use it negatively, but he's probably an excellent problem solver. And I'm sure they could come to an agreement but that's not what it's about. It's not about coming to an agreement. It's about what had happened, right? And she obviously cares a lot about this by the way she portrays her tweets, by the way she portrays her, uh, her allegations. Her allegations. Her alleg... Fuck. It seems like something that is very serious to me. You know, it, a lot of people are saying that it's very Me Too-esque, but obviously those two things are on a completely different and entirely irrelevant from one another field or levels. Like those things are interplanetary in their relation. But that's what it seems like. She's obviously very upset. We got to understand. And she clearly does not want to talk to Mr. Beast over the phone and let him resolve the situation. She does not want this situation to be resolved, it seems. I'm not exactly sure. Because she posts and leaked these DMs immediately after, which is kind of weird. I can assume maybe that she wanted to keep the pressure on Mr. Beast and let him make some kind of statement or something like that, acknowledging the wrongdoing and kind of, you know, saying that Rosanna won or whatever. I really don't know what the, what the, but what, what good does that do? Like, you got third, I, I, sorry. Maybe she's just drumming up attention, targeting the largest YouTuber on the platform since her channel hasn't been performing that well. She has posted pretty frequently over the last couple of years and has like scheduled posts. This did coincide with a post of her making a cover of Bad Moon Rising. I see the bad moon rising. Which, you know, that's possible, makes sense. It's bad optics, but it, you know, all attention is good attention classic YouTube type stuff, or as she claims, exposing the fact that he is refusing to put anything concrete into writing, which he might be held to later. So the messages, you know, it's very clear. Mr. Beast is trying to call and speak with her and figure out a way to make things right, which to me, this seems like the reasonable thing to do. I would call him for sure, but I don't like hate Mr. Beast. And I'm, you know, I didn't get shunned and taken edited out of a video. By the way, I really don't think that I would care. I mean, 
what are you like comment down below honestly if you were in this video whatever and it was for charity would you care would you care if you got edited out of it and also do you think it's possible that maybe when you sign like an nda or a waiver or something or some kind of um you have to sign a waiver to prevent like future lawsuits punitive damages etc i would assume if i was mr beast everyone who's participating would sign some kind of waiver saying hey i you know i i control the right to a final edit this is not a giveaway to anything but charity a million dollars is going to charity no matter what the the competition doesn't necessarily matter it's about entertainment it's about getting maximum exposure to raise the most amount of money for charity that kind of makes sense to me but i don't you know it's weird rosanna does not want to commit to any sort of time to speak to mr beast and instead offers him time to look into it so he can remember what happened before they can speak. So yeah, I understand she's hurt. She's trying to get him to take accountability for misrepresenting her achievement in the creator games. Dude, we need to get the fucking Snyder cut of this episode three of the creator games, dude. I'm fucking itching to see this shit. Look at these funny moments. I got ninth. They edited me out though. So I was actually not ever in it. Mr. Beast still has yet to make a public statement about it. He made a private statement, which was leaked, which is not very good to honestly i don't really think that's i would i don't really want to leak people's messages but his most recent tweet is just him talking about digging up dinosaur bones and him hurting his fingers and being really tall and growing a lot he's probably fucking playing arc survival ascended that shit crashes a lot that game's a piece of shit oh yeah it's pretty deep it's pretty deep all right sylvester uh your mom's a hoe yeah yeah i, I actually cannot shoot where's my crosshair at jordan i i, I don't crazy. jordan my cross where's my crosshair at jordan not this water's not deep enough. You lied. Jordan, you lied. Jordan, you lied. Jordan, you lied, bitch. Nope, I'm in the water. I'm black. Damn it, this is not help at all. Where is he at? I don't know. Shit, I ain't gonna I, I ain't go back up and see. There, there's no fucking way. Rosanna also posted this as a kind of a double down, which is extremely dramatic. I don't know what's going on here with this. This is kind of when I was like, all right, maybe I'll make a video. This is absurd when I asked for the raw footage. Mr. Beast went radio silent. Like it's some kind of true crime documentary or something like that, dude. This is really not that serious. This is really not that serious. It's becoming far larger than it needs to be. This thing looks like a just, I don't even know, dude, like just a very small base with a huge swollen tip, a big pilked tip. She also added YouTube. I don't like, is it against TOS? I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't know what's going on here, realistically. Then we get a series of tweets of her kind of hammering down the victim card, which is valid. I mean, she is the victim in this alleged scenario. She hammers down the fact that this is a deeply offensive thing, which it might be. I can't relate to that. I was never edited out of third place in a Mr. Beast video. So obviously Keemstar had an excellent take here. Her statements are written like a Me Too statement. She's talking about not getting credit from Mr. Beast for her getting third place in hide and seek. I, so I do understand this. I do understand his take and I also understand her take. It's gotta be, it, 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 it probably sucks. And you know, if you're, you are allowed to be a, like, I'm not saying either one of those is right, by the way. I think both of those are sort of absurd. One's funnier, <laughs> but not a very classy joke there, Keemstar, TBH. But I do understand, you know, I do understand where both these people are coming from. It's not that serious. It is kind of serious in a way. I understand. <sighs> I don't know what else to say other than I just understand. Bruh. <laughs> She then goes on to tweet this. The amount of DMs I'm receiving from people with similar stories, please know that you are not alone. You are seen and your experiences are valid. See, I'm, I, like that's where you kind of like, there's a whole sub niche of victims who have just been edited out of Mr. Beast creator. Maybe I'm missing the point with that. Like, is it just be, bully, being like kind of bullied and ham handed in general by people who have power over you? That is that what we're talking about? Or are we just talking about specifically getting edited out of Mr. Beast creator games? Because one of those things I understand the other one I don't. Like, it's getting crazy now. Thank you for making me feel not alone. This has all been overwhelming and a lot to process today. I was scared to tell my story for a long time because of how much hate others have gotten in the past for speaking up about their own experiences. In the hours since posting my story, I've received at least three other messages from female creators who have had similar experiences with Mr. Beast and those around him. Interesting. So it's like, uh, it's a sex thing then. It seems like, according to her, I'm not sure. That will be their story to tell if they choose to, but it is making me realize that I am not as alone as I once thought I was. Also, unbeknownst to me, Quackity also told the same story previously on a live stream. He was also confused as to why they edited him out of the top three. He didn't really seem to care though. I saw the footage. It was funny. Yeah, I even saw one where he said it in Spanish, which was interesting as well. Also, is Quackity Mexican? Oh, sí, sí, fue en donde fue un estadio de el estadio de Sí, es lo Y esa me dijo lo que sucedió. Yo estuve en un estadio escondiéndome por 
unas buenas 12 horas. Estaba uh -huh. Logan Paul, uh -huh. Bella Porch, estaba, Bella Porch, uh -huh. estaba quién más. Toda la comunidad uh -huh. de gringos, sí. sí, uh -huh. sí. Este, y entonces lo que, lo que sucedió fue de que era para un millón de dólares. Uh -huh. Era para un millón de dólares. Yo era de los últimos tres. Thank you for all the immense support. Words cannot describe how empowering and healing this last 24 hours has been. Now, my instinct here, I'm going to be honest with you guys, is to just clown. Clown on this person. Genuinely. That is my instinct. As a man, as a goober, who uh, I love to read and spend time outside, spend time with my friends. I don't care about the way that I'm interpreted online unless it is blatantly just like wrong. I don't care about my achievements. I don't care about anything that doesn't directly involve something that I love. And also alleging that there's more female creators who are, she's kind of insinuating might come out about this kind of stuff because they don't feel as alone. I, what is going on here? This is so, about what? Is it because she's a woman? Is that what she's implying? Like, it's very confusing, this whole thing. And it seems to be taken a whole lot more seriously than it actually is, in my opinion. Now, so we have point A. Mr. Beast and or his team made the choice to alter the footage and misrepresent the actual results and accomplishments of the tournament and the people in it, Quackity, and also Zach and Loray and Logan Paul and Rosanna. So all that was altered. The tournament is just like for fun and probably shouldn't have been altered. It seems like to me important context for her main point is the belief that Mr. Beast or his team or someone there made the choice to alter footage and misrepresent an event that was just for fun and shouldn't really need to be represented in any specific way because it's, you know, genuine creators doing well, whatever, highlighting people and their accomplishments, you know, especially kind of blowing up smaller people like Quackity at the time and Rosanna compared to Logan Paul and Zach King and Larray and all those guys. Highlight people with smaller audiences, blow them up. It's a Mr. Beast video, it's gonna do well anyways. Or likely the reason they're trying to create the most interesting twist in a video as possible. It's a product, it's a business that makes sense keeping the most interesting and popular creators in the video for as long as possible i'm sure is the goal and logan paul is in the video and he's a very famous guy like it's impossible to it's impossible to argue with and this is pre-crypto zoo post piece of shit pre-crypto zoo though so still a piece of shit but not as much of a piece of shit and i think this is where people are getting like really kind of thrown up because it's like you you stand with rosanna you're kind of going against logan paul and you're going against Mr. Beast if you don't like either one of those people. But like, at the same time, dude, Mr. Beast is awesome. He's a fucking great dude. So it's very confusing. I want to know exactly what you guys think. I, I, th this is a cool little kind of thought experiment. The reason I wanted to make this video is because this turned into something interesting and confusing. And it ended in this way. And this is the most interesting and confusing part of all of it. Everything was deleted. And then there was an apology from Rosanna. I don't know exactly what the f happened, but she got slapped back by millions of people, it seems like, and uh, she deleted all her shit and said this. I would like to apologize to Mr. Beast. I should have expressed my feelings privately and handled things directly. I will be removing all of the posts where I talk about creator games and Jimothy. I will be honest in that the thousands of death threats I received today are a contributing factor, but I do also sincerely hear the feedback from so many of you. Okay, so, death threats are always bad, all right? But this kind of doesn't seem like a great excuse to me. This doesn't really seem like a great excuse to just do a complete and total 180 death threats. Everyone gets death threats all the time. I've gotten a lot of death threats, like constantly. People will also send me death threats and then my address. Once again, I don't, I'm just different. I don't understand. I'm, fucking, I'm built different. <laughs> Yeah, a you know, classic death threat excuse. I don't know. She stated herself that she would not be silenced, but then kind of uh, silenced herself, I guess, and then apologized to Mr. Beast. Maybe the hate was too much, and that's pretty unfortunate. She had her music video she posted. Maybe the, you know, the, the, the spillover from the drama on Twitter didn't have the right result, and it was resulting in too much negativity instead of um, views for her music video. Maybe that w w was bad. That would imply she's evil, so I'm not saying that. Thousands of death threats is f***ing insane, and by the way, a perfectly valid reason to withdraw from the internet. You know, obviously. But I would also say, hey, call the police. <laughs> Report it to the FBI. That's what I do. I'm sure you have a lawyer. 
it's like you can solve these problems you can definitely solve those problems those problems are ones that can be solved that every creator who's putting themselves out there publicly can can handle so please have the confidence to solve that problem please people who are chronically online will threaten death to anyone sharing their opinion or voice yeah to me not to sound rude it sounds like kind of a fake cop-out apology maybe she just didn't want to deal with this shit anymore which is fair or maybe she did sign a waiver in an nda and then it's just like a legal thing i really don't know the tweet is insincere though like that we can all agree on she only deleted it because of death threats it seems like kind of more victim type stuff i'm not really sure though i don't hate this person i don't hate mr beast i try to be as reasonable as possible let me know what you guys think down below i really feel like this is just like such a big thing for just no reason at all and the only reason that i even talked about it just to be clear is because of that ending that's such a bizarre ending and by the way don't send death threats to anyone before you know the full story. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Just don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it at all, dude. It doesn't matter about the story. Don't be mean to people. Be nice. Be nice people. Try to be nice as you can. You can be mean to people sometimes, but be nice as you can. You know, be good. So anyways, maybe this was the only way she could find her voice. I don't know. She's not the first person to fucking come after Mr. Beast. Whether or not it was bad faith, I'll let you guys decide. Personally, I don't think it was. I think she was just upset, scared. Oh, well. Anyways. Buy some candy.